Hey everyone, welcome to The Depot. My name is Brad and today I am back with another house building video and this time I kind of wanted to try something just like a little bit different than I usually do because the bulk of my videos so far have been like modern builds and I've shied away from traditional because like I say all the time it's not really my favourite kind of thing to build or decorate with. Um, so I kind of thought I'd merge what I like and then maybe a traditional thing with this specific house. And I sort of came up with like um, a country revival in a way, just because <laughs> it was like, okay, well let's take a farmhouse, some form of a farmhouse, like a, like a, like a countryside house. We have a lot of them in Britain because we have a lot of countryside. Um, but yeah, that kind of a house and then turn it into like um, a modern kind of thing inside while maintaining a lot of original features. And that comes in in like the little porch I have here and then kind of in this guest bedroom I kind of have a traditional vibe-ish but everything else is very very modern but also kind of family-ish like this is a house that I've got to be honest I really really do love it and I kind of want to play with it that sounds weird play with it with sims play it in the game that makes sense right I'm sort of like not making any right now so my bad but um what I kind of just mean is that oh well, I can't really get sims to come in here considering I've never had a sim family that's being able to afford a house of this price, which by the way, it comes in at, I think, 174,000, maybe 172. Uh, my brain doesn't work when it sees like the third number in a big number. I'm like, okay, well, it's a lot that I clearly can't afford. Um, so if some of you have that amount of money in some of your sim households, then feel free to download and um, it's nice. <laughs> but um, I just wanna say also that um, I'm sorry it's taken me like four days to come out with this, but it was kind of a nightmare of a house to figure out where things were going and furnish it and then film it and then edit it. It kind of just took a lot longer than I anticipated. And yeah, but I will say for my next two build videos as well, coming up in the future, this kind of continues the traditional kind of a vibe. Also, one of them is quite modern. One of them is super, tr super traditional on the inside, except for maybe one little side edition room. Why am I talking about different houses when we're literally on this one? Sorry, I've just been... <laughs> I haven't spoken about the houses that I've built in like four days and I've kind of got three on the go. So I'm kind of excited. So <laughs> back to this one. Um, oh, that's what I wanted to say. This is the first house that I've kind of built like a chimney in a way. Like I usually put loads of fireplaces in my houses, but there's never any chimneys. So this is the first one that I've ever done that with. And it's not that I don't like how it looks, but um, I don't know, they, in The Sims 3, obviously they popped back originally and automatically, I should say. They like came in with it, but they don't in The Sims 4, which is fine because you can build your own. But sometimes I personally think it can look a bit fake. So I don't know, maybe you guys can let me know what you think because I like it on this specific house, but I'm not sure if I like it on every other house. So yeah, um, and the basic idea from this house as well was the fact that from the front, I wanted it to look very, very traditional in the sense that it hadn't been changed too much, maybe modernized a little bit, but in terms of like the structure and the layout, I wanted it to look traditional by keeping the porch and then having like, as you can see here, like a glass uh, entranceway into the new hallway, if you would or could maybe imagine, it'll come together in the end, I promise. Um, but then from the back, it's got like this uh, terrace off of the master bedroom and like bifold doors-ish <laughs> off the kitchen and then a sunroom because I put that in my last build video and I kind of wanted to incorporate it again because I thought it was a cute idea and it made sense because this is a countryside house so you would have a sunroom to enjoy the sun because there's no, I don't know, light pollution? Not light pollution, like shade from other buildings because, you know, countryside. Oh, which is why I built it in Windenburg because it was not going to work in Willow Creek, unfortunately. It needed a view and this plot doesn't really cut it for that so maybe you could put it on the island but it still looks kind of nice but the view isn't as good as it should be with a house that is built this way. I, sorry, <laughs> that made like no sense. Oh, and while we're on the door part, I just want to say that I love the fact that we have like, you know, a vision of the like modern door with glass cutouts, but why doesn't the double door version of it, why don't we have one? Like, why don't we have a double door version of the single door that I have used? We have one for the like non-glass cutouts, but none when it comes to the ones with glass cutouts, which is kind of annoying when I specifically wanted it to be a bit different with the doors in this house by having the glass. I didn't realise it till I put the double doors in and I was like, are you kidding me? But it doesn't look too bad, I get it, but at the same time, I don't know why they thought that would be like, oh yeah, let's put two doors in that match and then one where they fit. Oh, you know what I'm trying to say. 
it's just rude of EA to do because I was kind of like halfway through my build. Um, sorry. But yeah, to the kitchen points, I just want to add that I, uh, in my last build video, did like the living room and it was like a blue and a white and a like an off-white Egyptian cotton kind of cream-ish colour. And I really liked it, so I thought I'd bring it in the kitchen in this house and I also bring it to the master bedroom because <laughs> I really liked like a light blue with that kind of a colour scheme going on and it kind of worked out with this kitchen and the master bedroom in this house specifically as well. So yeah. Oh, and in this building, ugh, in this house specifically, I do a lot of um, hiding like lights in other structures, like cabin structures. Oh my God. In like other objects, like the cabinets and stuff, just to light up the room because I didn't like how the spotlights were looking in a lot of the rooms because a lot of the rooms in this house are so big that it just was like, why have we got this huge, like horrible looking spotlight in the middle of the room? So I just decided to like um, <laughs> hide mini lights everywhere else instead because that made more sense in my head than the former or the latter. I never really understood how that impression actually goes. So I'm not gonna try and use it or anything. Um, oh, and ugh, woo, what was I gonna say? Um, that little thing I just put up on the wall, the little shelf with the pictures and stuff, it does come in the color that would have matched the walls better. But unfortunately, the picture frames had like a pink in it instead of a blue with that color. So yeah, that's why we have the white one because the blue pictures look better in my head and that's kind of the way I wanted it to look. And I really wanted to use the, uh, what are they called? The spa day, like stools and chairs that came with spa day, obviously, because I haven't used them before. And it looked really, really nice in that like washed wood. I don't know what wood it would be. Maybe, I want to say pine, but pine's not washed. Pine's actually quite dark. So I'm just going to not even try. Um, my bad. And there we have the first of many pots. I want to say about four. Okay, four pots. That's not five, five pots. I have one in the landing upstairs too. So five pots in this build. I did say like three videos ago that now I've found pots. It's going to be quite hard for me to not use them in every single room because I like to dress up my corners. And obviously if you have multiple corners in a room, like more than four, it, well, more than two realistically, and you obviously have more than two corners in a room, otherwise it wouldn't be a room, that you can't just put plants in the corners or like, you know, potted plants or whatever, because it's like, just like, whoa, there's just too much green. And they rarely come in the same green. <laughs> like who knew there was so many, okay, I'm not gonna even make that point because I realized how dumb I sounded. <laughs> Do not. Um, Sorry, that was kind of bad. Eh. Anyway, utility room, because obviously I have to have utility rooms in all my bills now. It's kind of an issue I have with myself because I always find a way to get them in. I'm like, do I even bother including it? So, oh, if you guys do not have 174,000, feel free to cut this off because it is literally just an addition on the end of the house, like a little outhouse almost that's attached to the house. So not really a night outhouse. Ugh, I need to stop talking. <laughs> even though that's the basis of this whole video oh my god um so yeah nothing too like fancy in here but i wanted it to be kind of like that's why i put the chair in here because i was like it's a utility room so there'd be a lot of like cleaning up going on which <laughs> requires effort which means you'll have to sit down eventually so yeah that worked out oh um onto the formal living room i know that sounds really like uppity or whatever but um yeah formal because there's no tv in here so this is kind of like the I don't know, the adult living room, maybe? Like, the I, I really don't know. Like, some people have, like, oh, a drawing room. I've seen that before being used by some, like, you know, when, like, estate agents, like, have advertisements for houses and they use, like, fancy words and stuff. Like, I've seen drawing room be used and I'm like, that's an awfully big room just to use your crayons in. But anyway, um, so yeah, basically my idea behind this would be that, like, this is where the adults would go after, like, a dinner party. I don't really get the hype behind those, but I suppose they could be fun, maybe at a certain age. I really do not know, I've said this before. <laughs> so I decided to put like a makeshift bar kind of in here because obviously there was not enough room for like a, like a fully functioning bar. So it's literally purely just like, kind of looks like one. It doesn't function, it's literally just a countertop where your sim would sit with their annoying glass of water that they always seem to need no matter what time of day. But whatevs, I will ignore that for this video and leave that for my legacy challenge when I complain all the time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's basically what this, like, whole corner was, really. I just wanted something that would be, like, oh, okay, kind of adulty as opposed to child or, like, movie-ish. Because there's two living rooms and one's, like, formal and one's for TV. And, like I said, this is the formal one. So just using mirrors above the fireplace to give it more of, like, a 
a grand feel. And I know that that kind of, a, I was going to use a Marilyn picture instead of the glass of wine, but <laughs> then I put the bar in and I was like, okay, it makes sense to have a glass of wine instead. Maybe it's more ironic. I don't know, as opposed to being, I don't know, like judgy about it or anything. And I know these are probably not black wood furniture. They're probably like a really, 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 really dark brown. But yeah, they, um, they're close enough for me. Because so, <laughs> I wanted something that was wood because of course it is like, um, I wanted this to be like an extension of the hallway and the hallway has quite like natural colors because like I said, the porch has um, like natural, natural features, like original features of the house before it was renovated or whatever. So yeah, that's kind of it. And I love this little, it's nothing like, it's only a coffee table with like mirrors behind it, but I really, really like how it looks in this specific hallway. And I don't know, it just dressed up that corner a bit without making it look proper bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not too keen on that light, I'll be completely honest, but it was the only one that kind of lit up that corner and didn't look too awful. And that floor there, I know you might be thinking, that doesn't go, but to me it looks like original flooring in like an old, older house, I should say. So if you could imagine that the Sim family who did renovate this house wanted to keep it as like, you know, when you walk in, it's like, oh, this is the old part. And then welcome to, you know, the 21st century or something. I'm well aware people like oldie worldy stuff, but like I say in all my videos, it's not my taste specifically, but I can appreciate it. So yeah. And then this little plaque by here, I figured could have also been like an original like plaque on the house or I don't know, like, you know how some houses have got names and stuff and like they've had like for like over like a hundred years, say, and they've been like, kept or transferred inside in the kit. I don't know, that was my idea behind it. And then originally this was going to be a storage room of sorts because I know Sims don't have that, but then like I was like, okay, well nothing's going to work in here storagey. So I decided to do it as like technically a nectar, <laughs> like wine cellar, nectar cellar. I mean, we all know nectar's meant to be wine, right? But at the same time, it's not. And I don't get why they included it in The Sims 4. I mean, I get it was in The Sims 3 and it made sense, but when it was in The Sims 3, we went to France to get it in Paris, right? With World Adventures, and it was like a whole, like, thing in the game. I'm well aware that it might be in The Sims 4, and I just haven't, like, played it enough to, like, get to that part specifically, but as far as I am concerned, we do not have it. So, yeah. And like I said, obviously, that makeshift bar kind of makes it seem like, oh, just in case they run out by there, they've always got, like, an extra cellar. So yeah, that's what that room was. Um, and picnic baskets, because you know, who doesn't wanna go on a picnic? Um, moving on to, or already moved on to, but I'd like to finish my points. I'm really sorry about that. The downstairs bathroom, which is a fully functioning bathroom, as, as in like, you know, like a fully fitted suite. It has like a toilet, a hand basin, and a shower or a bath. Well, just a shower in this one. But you know, when people say fully fitted, it's like five piece or four piece. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but yeah, so it's just like, like I always do downstairs because I'm like, oh, sometimes it's literally quite hard to, if you've got like one bathroom and you've got like say two or three kids and they've all got to be gone by 8, 8 a.m. because of school, it's like, oh my God, I want you to be like a family so it's really cute and I can take a pic, but at the same time you need to get ready and not be angry with me, so yeah. Um, sorry, <laughs> moving on now again to the uh, living room, non- what would you call like a lounge? Let's call this one a lounge then because it has a TV and it's got like posters on the wall, like not posters, but you know, like two movie posters. I don't know, I like that in certain rooms because it like gives a, a thing of like, we watch TV a lot, I don't know. Um, <laughs> people do it in their cinema rooms, but unfortunately <laughs> not everyone has one of those. Um, but yeah, and of course pots because I have an issue and I wanted to do something a bit different. So I used this plant inside, which I have never done before. And I absolutely love this plant anyway. So it kind of seemed like a win-win. So overall, <laughs> my favorite room in the house, I think. No, I gotta be completely honest. I think the kitchen and the dining room is my favorite room. But um, this is a very, very close second just because I love the like dark plum wall. I've used it quite like, I think three times in like three different build videos. But um, yeah, it's just a really nice color and it's quite easy to work with a lot of other things because you can do it with like a warm, with a brown and a cream and then like I've done it here with a black and a gray, so <laughs> it works. Um, So yeah, nothing too fancy like in here at all. It is basic, basically just for the TV mainly and then I do put two bookcases just by here, literally off the main doors, but I do skip out the clutter in because it's boring and of course, I'm a mess when I clutter and take a long, long time. And then we move on to the sunroom, which I decided to not really do as a sunroom like I did last time. I did it as like a music room in a way. 
so obviously grand piano because these people are very wealthy <laughs> so i'm guessing they're the kind of people that would like push their kids to do like absolutely everything under the sun and learn to play on a grand piano as opposed to a keyboard like me um so yeah that's basically that and then i do put a guitar in next to the piano in a minute or so and then just two little puffies futons i'm really not sure what you'd call them like i said don't call it an ottoman because ottomans lift up and the worst part about that is the fact that there is another word for it that a lot of people refer to it as that, but I, it's, my mind's blank on that, so yeah. Um, <laughs> moving on to the first floor landing. Okay, nope, never mind, I forgot a light. Oh, I do that a lot, by the way, also in this house. <laughs> and, like, I'm going to move on to say the first floor landing, and I just want to give a heads up that I forgot a light completely and utterly in this build, and I even think I forgot it in the in and out footage at the end and the beginning the main light in the hallway which I like always do I do a spiral one most of the time but this time I just chose the like square one they're like just the you know uh, <laughs> you don't know but if you download the house you'll know because it is there um and it really does finish it off so sorry if you were like hmm that 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 hallway is just not working or just looks kind of empty yeah I forgot the feature light which was kind of bringing it all together and like finally you know like <laughs> it all came together when I added that light and I was like I didn't even put that in the video. Uh, great. Okay. Love it. Um, sorry. Just wanted to explain myself because you were probably don't want me to judge the things I forget. I'm like, no, no, I promise you I would not leave it like that. But, um, my brain just sometimes gives out on me and doesn't want to help. So, yeah. Once again, as you can see, this is the master suite. I hope you could kind of tell that <laughs> by, like, the sheer size of it and the fact that it's the only one with a balcony and, like, you know, countryside views or whatever. I'm trying to speak like an estate agent because, like, I don't know it's houses right and that's the kind of thing you do and i did say in my last video when i did these squares in the ensuite to one of the bedrooms that i would find a way to work it into another room somehow and i just thought it looked nice above the bed and i added like a little something to the wall without distracting too much from it because i didn't want to put a picture up there or anything because i do put a picture with the bathtub and of course i want to explain this again because i did the last time i did it and i don't think anyone still understands it but not that, not understand it, that's a horrible thing to say. Sorry, I just mean, like, it's not common, I don't think, that, like, sorry, you don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, basically, I just put, like, a bathtub, not in the ensuite, in the actual bedroom where the window is, so that you could look, oh, <laughs> maybe I'll just save it for when we go over, and I'll just talk about the fact that I did a study nook over here. <laughs> that would have made complete and utter sense, but no, of course, it's me doing it, so I had to do it the very, very hard way. See, here we go, there's the bath. Oh my god. Um, and then just bringing in the Andy Warhol, like, esque artwork because <laughs> I did use it in the living room in my last build. And considering this is a homage, I don't, that's the, that's the worst word I could have possibly used. Um, like, just like a mimic of that in a way, in a bedroom form, then yeah, I just brought it in here and put it above the bath because, oh, and then backlit it because I don't know, I just thought like it might add a little bit more to it. And I think it did. So, yes. And then, like just trying my attempt to build a fitted wardrobe of my own version as opposed to the ones that come with the sims 4 because i have to be difficult um uh, <laughs> no it's just that sometimes it, w it wouldn't have looked right in the specific dressing room that's why and sometimes you do have to make your own which is fun because the sims 4 has given you a lot of possibilities to do that with you know sizing up and then lifting up and stuff lifting up that was the worst way to put it again oh my god you know what I mean? Like when you press nine and zero and things go like up and down. <laughs> Does it with mirrors? I don't know. You kind of, I hope you understand what I'm talking about. Otherwise I probably just sound really, really stupid. Um, so moving on to the kind of second part of the ensuite in a way. Well, the part with the toilet, the hand basins and the shower. Not the bath because that's in the room. That's the point I made. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I babble so much. Like I make so many silly noises and I'm really, really sorry. Um, so yeah, nothing. I went for grey, obviously. It's like my favourite colour to do bathrooms. And I do say, like, just as a heads up to anyone who hasn't watched any of my videos, that bathrooms aren't my strong suit at all. I'm not too adventurous with them. I'm really, really, like, minimal and neutral with bathrooms. I don't like anything too... <laughs> making myself sound so boring. Oh my god, sorry. Um, I don't know, I'm just not very good with bathrooms. Like, I, I'm not... I don't hate my bathrooms, but I know they're not anything to, like write home about or anything so <laughs> yeah um and then doing the gray the green one that i like to do sometimes just because there's only certain color schemes you can do in the same floor with bathrooms because of course the suite has to match <laughs> like it doesn't have to but because some of the colors do like intertwine of course but 
the majority do not. Let's just put it that way. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a repetitive kind of thing every now and then. And this is where the green comes back. <laughs> Last time I used you, I think, was my modern mini. Hopefully, you can definitely probably <laughs> figure out I'm wrong if you really, really want to. But um, I think that was when I last used it. Oh, yeah. So, teenager's room. Sorry, my bad. Didn't listen again. And that was the ensuite to the teenager's room. So, of course, two of the bedrooms in this house have en suites. And then the two others share the main bathroom. Just to clarify. Um, and I wanted this to kind of be, like, obviously just the typical teenager's room. So, nothing too neat or anything. And I kind of hate myself for kind of using the word neat with that respect. But, um... Yeah, just like I always say, just more fun and free and lots of posters, which is kind of my favourite thing to do. It's just so fun to, like, not have to put things like, oh, that looks perfect. It totally matches. It's like, no, that looks fun. Like, and young and free. That's a Snoop Dogg song, I swear. Um, sorry. Kind of off again on another tangent, which is kind of the basis, I think, of all my videos. I just constantly ramble about other things that do not matter at all like I'm doing now. Um, and then obviously just a little another study thing because I think most teenagers require um, like an internet connection at all times. And I know everyone has that on their phone, even in The Sims 4 now, but computers are still a necessity, obviously. And I think you figure that out <laughs> because every time you put one in a Sims house, they the whole family fights over it basically. And that's all they ever want to do is just go on the computer, especially if they've got like mischief as a, as a trait. <laughs> all they want to do is troll to forums. Which, by the way, I don't know his name, but they live in, like, the really nice house in, um, what's it called? Willow Creek. And he's, like, got the mischievous uh, trait. And every time we play test a build with, with that family, they he literally always goes on a computer to troll to forums. I'm saying it like that, and I hate myself for it, but that's literally how it's spelt. So please don't, like, crucify me or anything. Oh my god, I'm not even, like, we've moved on to the bathroom. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> sorry. Main bathroom. I think, as you can tell, or see, maybe, hopefully. I went for a black this time because I was like, I cannot do grey again. I mean, really. And this is the first time that I've used that bathtub. So I think I'm slowly but surely coming out of my comfort zone when it comes to bathrooms, in a way. Like, I don't necessarily mind working things out. But, <laughs> of course, this is another reason why this video took so long. Because I was like, okay, please try something slightly different. And it does take a while to, like land on something you like that's different and of course bringing in the little rugs because I like how they look and they kind of look industrial in the sense that like they drain things that water that overflows and they kind of add something to it and then of course hiding more little wall lights away in the wall which I think I did that in the porch downstairs as well but you can't see it when you're like a sim because it's hidden in the ceiling or something yeah so um moving on to the children's room which I've got to say is probably my favorite children's room I've ever done just because I really really forced myself this time to um stay away from like really really bold colors like I usually do like with any of the kids beds I follow like whatever color that goes in and I choose those as the two main colors but this time I was like no no I'll just follow because <laughs> my brother just had a baby uh, yeah plug for that I don't know um give me congratulations I don't know um but anyway and their nursery is like all neutral colors like you know creams and whites and grays and they've gone for like elephants as an animal and I really liked it and I was like okay it's kind of a different take you know don't really do like a boy like a blue or a pink or a really bright color and I kind of wanted to bring it in in the sims in a way and I thought this was kind of like the perfect house to do it in because you know, countryside, like, it's fairly neutral anyway. <laughs> they're not too bold in the country, I don't think. That's probably really offensive, so sorry. I do not mean that. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's basically my idea behind the children's room this time. And I really, really liked how it turned out because it's still got, like, a little bit of a lilac wall just because I didn't want to do just white ones because it was too, like, also it harsh, not harsh, just, like, not colourful. And it's a children's room, but this has, like, hues of colour. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? Like, just like, a hue. I don't know how you would say that in another word. Is there another word for that? Probably not. So then, obviously, there's a little bit of colour in here. I'm not going to deny that a little, like, at all, but <laughs> just, like, tiny, tiny, tiny little bits. Other than that, though, it's just got, like, obviously, the basic necessities that you need if you have a child in The Sims, like, get just things to occupy them so they don't annoy you. And then you got to do your little whole, like, parenting thing, which parenthood has really helped with, I'll be honest, because for a while I'd be like, will you hurry up and age up so I can make you make money and have some more fun and, like, put an extension on the house, please? But now kids actually do stuff, so it, it's quite fun. 
like to play with kid now um took me ages to find that little um giraffe by the way i was like where are they um and i always forget about the little mobile mobiles mobiles i don't know i'm just gonna go off the avril lavigne song <laughs> oh my god the avril lavigne song mobile so mobile in that way and then this year is the guest room if you want to remodel it to be something different then feel free but I just decided to do it as a guest room because I figured I covered all the basics when it came to bedrooms for like age brackets in The Sims. So, but then again, this is perfect for like an elder sim maybe because I wanted to keep this room fairly traditional. There's not too much modern stuff going on in here because I wanted it to have like the country-esque vibe, hence why it's like the guest room. So you could stay in the house, but when you go to sleep, you sleep in like the old part of the house. I, I, I don't know my thought process and obviously towels because it's a guest room and like as a guest you can never really have too many towels just in case you spill something and it's like I don't want to go downstairs and annoy you so I'm gonna hide it in the corner I, I've never done that but I make no mistake I, I would um <laughs> if I ruined anyone's house I'd be like oh my god how am I gonna hide this um sorry kind of went off then and that was really lazy of me did you see me just drag across the entire house to just find one because I couldn't find it in the menu oh my god um sprinkler system because this is an expensive house and of course like I don't think they'd skimp, that's the word, on fire safety when you're spending this much on a house. It's kind of a lot of money. Um, like I said, I'd never be able to afford it, but whatevs. Nothing too much going on outside, just your basic pool slash seating and dining area, which <laughs> just heads up quite awful when I playtested and I made them get food out the fridge. They sat on the dining table outside instead of inside. And I guess that's not going to be a problem until we have seasons, but... um. <laughs> when that comes out, I guess I'll have to rethink, maybe, I don't know. Um, I chose a white this time, which I know is quite, like, bright on the eyes, I will be honest, but, um, I just wanted to try something different and not use a black this time because I wanted to use white windows instead of black because I always chose something dark and I wanted it to be, I don't know, like a bright house or something. And then, of course, up here is the private terrace for the master suite, which I forgot to decorate while I was doing the master suite, so... I guess I saved it till the end. And then a little easel here just because you might want to do some nice painting from reference pictures or something. So yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, there's also a little fire pit and a planter because I like gardening in The Sims 4 now and a fire pit's always cute. So um, yeah, um, moving on to some landscaping now, which I obviously cut out for you guys because it's pretty boring. So um, I just want to take this moment to just say a massive thank you to anyone who's watched this video, even if it was for 20 seconds. I do greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, then maybe please give it a like and hopefully, possibly subscribe to the channel, as I would also appreciate that well, greatly, if I'm completely honest. Um, so yeah, uh, if you would like to download the house, it will be on the gallery under my name, The Sim Depot. Um, but until next time, guys, bye.